But again, ladies and gentlemen, another training video and possibly Merry Christmas depending when you're watching this because it's a few days before Christmas and I decided to go ahead and train legs today with my early Christmas gifts. Which of course would be the camera bar you see here from Titan Fitness. Don't judge me, don't judge me. Yes, I got a Titan bar, but honestly, it's pretty good. Quality, build, awesome. Feels good when I'm squatting. Like I'm saying, I get a nice size squat. Like I say, it takes all the pressure off my low back, off the hip joint, pretty much right to the quads, right the glutes, and literally all, a lot more in the glutes. And I really felt it, so yeah. Definitely a better bar, definitely worth the upgrade. So no more Snap City squats, just good old squats. Don't do it, it's gonna be kinda crazy going back to regular squats. And of course, since I did the camber bar, I had to go and do some freaking um, straight bar, jerky squats I didn't in a long time, and found a hard way. Like, yeah, I need to use the P pad, otherwise I'm gonna cut, cut, cut up my freaking forearms, which I'm not trying to do, which is why I'm wearing padded on the bar, and of course, even the forearm pad as well. And because I didn't feel like moving on bars, start moving the barbells around even more so, I was like, go right into all stuff. Child praise after doing that, I went and doing some Romanian deadlifts because I'm telling you guys right now, the Titan bar was good, but that stuff is 65 pounds and it's shaped weird, meaning it's a pain in the butt to move around the home gym. And you think I'm taking this to mind and muscle, you're out your freaking mind. So guys, the mind and muscle, I got love for you. To get, you got love for everybody up there, but I ain't bringing it up to the gym. Y'all got to pay me. You think for one minute I'm going to bring this high symbol bar into the gym. This heavy high into the gym. And I'm at the, now that I'm looking at it, considering that my gym is basically fully stocked to the point where I can't add anything else to my power rack, I think next thing I'm going to add to it probably will be a Razor Pi implementation, especially looking at my bar even more so. Just saying. Yes, I know that last comment didn't make any sense, but you say, just check what you're talking about. It's been about geekiness. Check out the Epic Games store because they are giving away free games every freaking day right now until New Year's. And right doing that, I went right to doing some spin trainer. And since the pistol squats, and considering my CNS is already pretty much burnt up with doing the camera bar squats as well as other squats, there's a very good reason why I am not, I repeat, not wearing a weighted vest because I was at that point where I almost felt like throwing up after doing all the other stuff and then little breathing with the calf raise and of course after doing the strip legs and the chain. Yeah, my body was like, dude, you're doing one more compound movement and it's going to be body weight. It's gonna be by the way, and after this, I will ride with you with it. the monkey feet dumbbell attachment from Animal House Fitness. And I'll let you guys know now, they're actually working pretty well. But think about how much weight you would normally use for the exercise you use with the monkey feet and cut the weight in half. Barbell dumbbell handles are probably about 14 to 15 pounds each. And you can see at this point, I decided not to put any place in there because that 15 pounds felt like freaking thick. And uh, yeah, I tried to add a little, felt like I could have went heavier, but my body was like, nope, I'm supposed to shakiness and everything that's going on. I'm like, you know, you put 15 pounds, no risk, no risk, trying to risk it. And before you ask, leg, I mean, leg curls, this thing curls like a mother. Even more so than bands, and of course, I'm doing that has to do some fire hydrants set with some blue cake back. And man, did I feel that! So, yeah, definitely good thing to kind of work on the end of your workout with and get some fun. Sorry, definitely good investment to burn out whatever, whatever you got left in your quads above, above your hamstrings, and of course, build the roof and your hips. Like, definitely recommend this. I was going to do some standing hip adjustments, but at that point, my whole body was done, finished. But next day, and it's also why you don't see me moving any abs, because I'm going to keep it real. 
is that the fact that I didn't record the abs? I didn't do abs because my body was done. Period. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Until next time, keep living strong and peace out.